What's going on, YouTube? Man, I got one for you, man. Everybody thought Wack was playing about them diapers. He's not playing about them diapers, man. But I'm going to let him talk to y'all about them diapers. And hit that like and that subscribe. Let's get into it, though. Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. So, so, Wait, what? Is I created this thing called Incredible Kids. Uh, when you go on the website, you'll see them. And my idea for that is to grow our children, right? Break the cycle, mean from birth. I want to give children uh, our, what we call our incredible scholarship to wear all their diapers, all their pampers. Um, even when they start to go to school, we want to test them. We want to place them in certain schools. We want to move the families out of these fucked up areas, right? Um, it's a lot of money to be made. This is a multi-billion dollar industry. I got to do something with the money and I ain't taking a buyout. So what I'm going to choose to do with it is come back, scholarship these kids at birth, put them in the diapers, raise them, track them, follow them, education-wise, create our own communities, get them out of these ghettos, send them to college on incredible scholarships, and if this kid is accelerating math or this kid is accelerating in these areas, I can look up and see, okay, we got 70 of our incredible kids that we've raised graduating, so guess what? We can anticipate opening up another plan or two in this region and that region and this region. So what I've done is broke the cycle of this child being forced to grow up in these poverty um, stricken ghettos, right? And then he doesn't know that way of life. So now his children won't know that way of life. He's coming out of college without this fucking $200,000 debt he got to pay back and everybody telling him he's uh, overqualified. He ended up working at Home Depot to Walmart any goddamn way, right? So that's my my bigger picture. That's really what it's about. Um, we don't own a black-owned diaper company in the universe. There's not another one. So I know I'm going to be dealing with a whole lot, but I think it's enough of our people um, to support what this is, um, especially once they see the movement of what it is, to survive and to become great. That's dope. Wait, bro. wait. How you Yo. feel about a, a hub centralized here so we can manufacture the product? I'm doing so. I have, I just ink contracts in Bahrain with the Royal Family of Bahrain. We're building a manufacturing uh, plant there because of the tax treaty and shit like that over there. They're going to distribute to like 10 different other countries in the Middle East. I was just telling r and I said, it's funny how everything about my life has come full circle, even though it may have started, you know, on what we all knew, the hustle in the neighborhood, drugs and whatever we was doing, right? A lot of us that made it to that level of it, we were distributors, believe it or not. You know, we just had to worry about the law. So I told r and I said, while we're growing, I want to find people in certain areas and regions. And before we get to their stores, because right now Amazon is approved, Walmart is approving different regions. So let's say I got a brother in Arkansas or a brother in Texas and I'm not there in those stores, right? I can find somebody. We can get warehouses over there and I can deliver those diapers there and it's people could know that they can go here. They don't want to go to Amazon to get them until we get in stores over there. This is, it could be like a hub where they can go here, even if it's to a point to where in the ghettos, y'all remember when the ding dong man used to come through? Listen, every day they had no, the diaper truck coming through 530, right? So I've been thinking about all this shit on what we used to do growing up, how I can involved involve those same ways of doing things into this with my people because some of our people we got some people that may not be the brightest but they have the know-how and won't nobody give them a chance to do nothing a lot of people we know in our ghettos was millionaires and a lot of them couldn't read or write but they knew how to distribute they knew how to move a product so if we can put an illegal product in their hand why not put a legal product in their hand how you feel about the, the market, though? The market is covering a lot. That's well, a, a I'm big, not, but see, here goes the thing, right? I'm not, so you got, like, Jessica Alba did one, but she's targeting, like, the rich people who don't give a fuck about what they pay for anything, right? So my market is bottom, 
right, people on government assistance, to like the middle class. So like a family of four with two working parents in there making 100,000 combined. In today's age and the cost of living, <clears throat> you know, that's middle class, right? You borderline fucking, you borderline almost, you know, poverty living in the United States of America, right? So uh, with that market right there, I ain't gonna have a problem with it. I'm not gonna have a problem with it. Um, long as, once, once I, once a person uses the product, they gonna come back to it. Hey, Wet, congrats to you. I have a question. Are you considering, uh, let's say, pull ups? Yeah, yeah. My next, my next shipment, actually, my next order, which I'm ordering next week, pull ups will be there. I'm and going what about to... swim uh, trunks, yeah. swim diapers? <laughs> or that too. Uh, feminine products. We also got um. The uh, detergent, the detergent balls for the baby's clothes. Mm. Um, the swim, know, see, the like, swim diapers. You should get swim them. diapers. All that. And stuff. adult depends. And adults too, exactly. I had um, a bunch of adult back. companies already contact me, so yeah. definitely I'm going there. Okay. I may ask about this. Um, each month, have you thought about period panic? No, you know what? R and B was just telling me about that. I've never seen period panties. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, you know that was one of back when I I'm look, I'm, I'm in my sixties now, but when I was in my twenties, I kept saying, Lord, man, I wish I knew how to develop some period panties. You know. But anyway, that was just a joke with the family and everything about period panties. Well, there are a line. Somebody. I don't know if she cut out, but I. I'm, 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 I hear <laughs> so I got to design. Oh, you got to help me design it. Okay, it's make, just so funny hearing somebody say it out loud. I yeah, because I'm looking at something. I mean, it's the way to go. Today. I'm so sorry, y'all. Can you just tell me the name of the line? I think you're you're in the Matrix, but we. So what? She in the Matrix, man. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. So, uh, I was I was getting ready to ask Wack. Peace to you, bro. And congratulations Hi. on what you're doing. Um, so I'm in contact with a brother who who created what she's asking about. It's a sanitary napkin. Uh, I'm gonna get to the gist of it. They inserted a uh, graphene strip. This graphene strip helps with the bacteria and the uh, the cervix, uh, like cancers and, and everything our, our women are uh, experiencing so they have this technology bro that they have in uh these sanitary napkins so it, it correlates with your diapers bro so if, if you want me to connect y'all you know what i'm saying and hey network yeah, we might get, yeah we might get cross it let me see what you got that's doctor accountability yeah. yes sir I yeah i like that question. oh that, that's slick i like that appreciate it i have a question actually so when it comes to the material and if you're going into you know, making female hygiene products, I would assume that the the product that is the product that you're making, the material of it, is not harmful to the female ecosystem. Nah, not at all. No, you can't play with that either, especially with kids in general. But definitely not, because you got to remember, babies are babies. You got you got you got male and female, right? So no, it's definitely not. Definitely, you know, when you're dealing with a child, it's easier to go. Um, you can, it's easier to go put out a soft drink or, or, or a steak company than a diaper company, because they test you. They run those diapers through the ringer. You got to be tested, or you you can't even get a uh, a barcode for your product without those tests. Hey, Uncle Uncle Wack, peace, God. I got a question. Uh huh. Hey, hey, you thought about uh, partnering with the WIT program? Uh, offering them diapers, that kind yeah. of services? Um, actually, we're online with them now. I think I, I'm talking to the, some companies on the East Coast right now. They call they call like diaper banks, right? They got diaper banks where they give them away um, for free. So um, we're in negotiations with them now as we speak. All right, this is y'all time. Y'all, y'all time. This is time. Um, well, shoot, I'm going to get in where I can fit in. So, yeah. hi, Wack. I just wanted to ask you a question because I was listening to your vision. And I actually have a friend um, that she has a nonprofit 
and it's um, it's called Heartbeat Music and Performing Arts Academy, and their emphasis basically she um, gives the band experience a major ed experience, but her but she focuses on school and just being able to get the kids into HBCUs. But she starts off at um, she has a child care and a preschool program too, and it's black owned. Mm-hmm. But I think you got I think that you should connect with her because if you're trying to put you guys pretty much have the same vision as as far as um the kids and so i think your diapers if you're trying to have them somewhere that would be a good place to be like i think she located again um we're in san diego california oh you just right here you down the street yeah Yeah, that's cool r&b get her get her her information okay yeah you just right down the street yeah okay i got you i'm gonna send that's perfect that's 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 not a problem Okay, you you might have actually seen some of the kids perform, um, because they're they um they're pretty popular now. Um, they do HBC style. Um, they have a drum line and a majorette dance team. But she's all on school, like that's the main thing, and just them being successful and changing, you know, things for families. So I'm gonna make sure I send you that information. Definitely, no problem. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Yeah, so uh, put it in my back channel, yeah, yeah. Thank. Okay, I got you, R and B. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, since nobody wanna talk, just followed you back. Wait, dig this. Every month, I give out. I got another room called Fuss Box, and um, go back, yeah, we give back to the people who subscribe to that room, right? So every gotcha. month, big brother, I'm gonna buy a person. Me, I'm gonna buy at least two boxes of pamphlets every month, as long as I'm on this damn app. And I want everybody in this room to hear me say this to you. I'm gonna personally, every month, I'm gonna buy two boxes of pamphlets. This is what I want to say to you, right? I think that God has blessed you, whether you believe in Him or not. I'm loving everything that I'm hearing, and I want to say to you, I know you call me country, but man, I'm country. I'm from Mississippi. What you talking about, man? Yeah, okay. <laughs> the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah, what so, you mean, man? <laughs> hey, so dig this. You got to cut me in or cut it out. Whatever move you make, I'm there to support. You better listen. Let's do it. Nah, listen, let's man. do it. Listen, Where you at right now? What area you, you in? Making, you better cut me in or cut it out. Where, what area you, you in? I, I'm in Tallahassee, Florida right now. If Are you got anything out? coming to Florida? You on the panhandle. Right, right. I'm in the panhandle. So because I was thinking, right, as I'm hearing you talking, you know, when we go out in the communities, we give away food, you know, through the nation. Um, I'm the captain here uh, in my city. Oh, you're the captain? You FOI? No doubt. 100%. Well, you know me and Tony Muhammad go back 28 years. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Yeah, the captain um, Shahid, great okay. rest his rest his peace. You know, I'm real close to those brothers. Man, that's what's up. Uh, but no, nah, let me know when you're doing the next hold on, hold on. Uh, community. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said rest in peace. Hold yeah. on, brother. What up? Did brother Tony pass away? No, no, Shahid. Tony's Shahid. still here. Yeah. So, so oh, uh, Captain Shahid. Ooh, I know. Yeah, nah, Tony's still here. I talk to Tony every week. Me and Tony go back a long, long, long time. Okay, so I'm cutting hair on one of my clients, too. And um, so let me know when you're doing the next uh, community thing. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, right? Is uh, get some of the diapers and help promote it here. No, let me know when you're doing that, bro. Hey, you know, doing- look, just so you know, my, I got one daughter, right? Uh-huh. One daughter. My daughter, she's 18. Since 13, FOI has been her personal security wherever she moved. They know where she at before I know. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean? That's Brother Pitbull, that's on the app. That's her personal security. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, I'm loving this shit here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm down with you, King. Whatever you doing, whatever you need, to do, whatever, man, hit me up, man. Yeah, just hit let just up. let me know next time you're doing that. We're going to get that there. Shit, I'm, well, you listen, say no more. It's over with. r and I'm going to send you my personal number, right? And uh, I want you to keep me up with what WAC doing because I'm here to support that 100%. Okay. 
make sure you get with Shante too because we're gonna get a couple of boxes of those pampers. And uh, matter of fact, our giveaway is the end of this month. So you, Shante, if you're listening, Jeannie, if you're listening, please get with R and B ASAP, and let's make this happen. So we're gonna we're gonna be giving away. But again, I'm gonna buy two boxes personally myself to give them away. I don't know what what's going on with the price. It don't matter. I'm just no, nah, no. Nah, well, you know they all they price effective. And listen, I want people to see their feedback. You know, I, I gave them to a hundred families that um that was having problems with their child waking up at night because they was wet. Ninety six percent of the families got back and said. It was a great and scary experience. They woke up in the morning and thought something was wrong with the baby. The baby did not get up. And the diet, they were still dry. They went to the restroom, but they were still dry. So, you know, that's what I designed them for. You know, I didn't want to create some cheap shit and just throw it out there. That's the reason. That's what motivated me to do it, because I saw our people in the ghetto with some cheap shit, because they couldn't afford nothing, you know, nothing that was right. Hey, but to add on to that, brother, it's been stories and stories on how bad product of those pampers. But to you to um to solidify that and put a better brand on that, man, that's that's a cold market. That's why I asked you how big is that? That's a billion dollar market to just bro, tap into that market. Definitely, bro. I got listen. The Middle oh, East. Oh, when, that. when I sent it over to the Middle East, right? They got back to me, not wanting to just distribute, wanting to build a manufacturing plant. Right, they put what was it on? Be like damn the two hundred eighty million dollars of contracts in front of me. They want to buy in. It was like, listen, we don't know how this absorbing is work, working the way it's working. Floyd, Floyd called me every day, threatening me every day, cause I sent his grandbaby. You know, his daughter has a child by NBA young boy. I sent them some boxes. QCP over there, right? He on me, you know, cause he got a grandbaby. Like man, they ran out of them. And they don't want to use nothing else. They saying the other ones is soggy and this, 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 and this. So everybody you give them to, make sure they give you a report back. It's just, it's just not a diaper. Like I really designed and like created and built that and really spent the money on it. The only reason why I'm able to keep it at a low price is because I have nobody in the middle of me. I went direct. I'm dealing with the plant direct. If I had people in the middle of me, It'll be sky high. Hey, Wag. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right. I just want to say I'm I'm super proud of you, and I'm that's it's just awesome. Just I just love hearing this, but I just wanted to say that um I know a a woman. I'm in Dallas, Texas, uh -huh. and I know a young lady who has a um a nonprofit called Viola's House, and she basically has a shelter for teen moms. Anyway, long story short, I did a uh, volunteer uh, event with them for Christmas. And when I tell you, she helped so many families come through there. And I was actually at the diaper table. So I'm just like listening to you thinking like how I could connect you guys, you know, because I think that, you know, that's all she works with is babies and they come through there. So that would be great, first of all, for you guys mm -hmm. to this young lady, she's actually now working on national um, houses. So she's going to be, she just left the White House. Like, she still may be in D.C. right now. But I just okay. feel like you guys need to connect. And I also just wanted to put myself out there. I know you definitely going to need an administrator, assistant, you know what I'm saying, call all center, that. all yeah. of that. Yeah. And I'm in, ex, um, uh, in customer service. That's what I've been doing for years, and I love it. And so I'm just, you know, letting you know that we... We can connect if you need, you know, someone uh, in that field, customer service, you know, let me know because I would love to work with you guys as well. Believe it or not, right, you know, this platform and R&B, you know, I got a little checklist. Um, I've been using this platform to see who I was going to bring with me once I launched the company. We run around, do our wild shit, but I know I tell R&B, that person right there, we can – they live in this region. We can, they can come on with us, right? So, uh, what you're doing right now is what we've all we've been doing like the last nine months, filling people out without them really knowing it. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people been at jobs to where you know they didn't, uh, for whatever reason, they're not promoting up, whether it's education, whatever it may be. 
So it's like, you know, I kind of know what that is. And like I said, I want to position our people to be in position. You know, we, the reason why a lot of us can't get out of the hole because they keep us there. You know, we get up and do what we're supposed to do, but then they use shit against us to say, well, the reason why we can't do this for you is because of this. Um, so definitely I want to get with you. I definitely want to um, tap into and support uh, the young ladies program. So r &B, get her, grab her information, and um, let's get on top of that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Wack, um, let me get in here. Uh, if you are interested. Um, I'm currently in Sierra Leone, West Africa, um, my home country. I believe he's on and the phone. And our first he's lady, a, hello? An initiative Wait a minute. Uh, you in the Matrix. Sir. You're in the Matrix and he's um, on the phone. School girls. Y'all had to pause over here. Okay. Okay, so he's back. I didn't hear her R&B. My thing it kind of went blank on me. Who, me? Oh, Ness, yeah. Phone. Yeah, I didn't hear Okay. You. Um, yeah, so I was saying hi. Um, I wanted to know if you were interested in taking this um, globally. Our first lady in my country, Sierra Leone in West Africa, where I currently am, um, just passed a bill where schoolgirls get free sanitation napkins for when they are on their menstrual cycle. So... Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if you know, but my country has one of the highest infant mortality rates. Um, and obviously, um, they are a developing nation. So think products for babies are definitely like in high demand all the time. Um, so if you would want to work with the government here to kind of sponsor um, the babies, the newborns that are in hospitals um, that are being built newly, uh, with free Pampers, I would love to be able to connect you with the with the government here. That, yeah, see, those are our incredible kids. Definitely, those are incredible kids. What you're saying, what you're telling me, is that's where I'm reaching. Uh, Definitely. So you that got works. easy. Your your marketing strategy is going to be a breeze. I mean, you got to remember, I even, you know, me being in the entertainment business and having a lot of <clears throat> friends, you know, and having a lot of friends on the marketing side, bro, it's like, um, I'm going to reach in those areas that they're not reaching. You know, they just, they on the shelf. They in their comfort zone. I'm about to shake the bushes. You know, they, they just putting their stuff on the shelf. You don't really see too much of nothing. You don't see them giving back. You don't see them doing anything. I'm creating a, a program right now. You guys remember Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, right? Y'all remember that, right? The golden ticket. So we got the golden yeah. diaper. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put a diaper in each size, right? And on it, like I said, I'm reaching to our communities, things that mean something. You may get one, we may give you a year supply. You may get the other diaper in size two, right? It may be $5,000. It may be size three, we may give you, you know, a $10,000 grocery card for the year to where you can go to your local grocery store and go shopping, right? Things of this nature, you know what I mean? Things that I know will knock the cheat off of, off of a household. I remember can coming up. Can you I see that's an incentive yes. to black products. It, that, I mean, I mean, you got, like fish right there. Yeah, because you got to you got to think about it, right? Let's be let's be real. We remember them last ten days of the month, bro. Around the crib, it got a little hard around there, right? So you imagine if if if, if moms had a a card to where you know we got ten thousand dollars in groceries on this card, or or I may look up and say, all right, well, we're going to pay your rent up for the next six months, you know, size five. You get, the, you get the golden diaper size five, right? So my thing is to get people to purchase them, to participate in the raffle, but I know once they use them, they're going to keep coming back to them. At the same time, giving something away that'll help, that'll help some of these families out here. Man, I'm loving this shit. Yeah, keep talking, bro. Keep talking. You're running your mouth. I'm loving this shit. Hey, what? Hey, what? Would you, would you, hey, what, you going public in a couple of more weeks? How much is the stock going for? But look, see, and listen, I, and I've been talking to my financial team, and they think I'm crazy. I said, listen, I need to create some type of platform 
for my people to be able to buy into before those people, right? They think I'm crazy, but I think they starting to understand. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, you know, we never get a chance to be at the front of the line. You know what I'm saying? Like we, you know, by the time we find out, it's phase 11. And a lot of those people that's already filthy rich that don't look like us, they filthy rich and don't look like us, you know, they taking the, the, the money they made from the last deal they were at the front of the line and they buying up the shit for the next one. So we never get opportunity to, you know, to uh, reap the benefits of that. So I'm like, listen, create, I need, I need, I don't know how you gonna do it, but I'm gonna need a link to where I can send this out to my people, right? I'm gonna target my people because they're not where we're at, right? So I know the spaces to go because I can tell you, I can put a link out right here and you guys gonna tell your churches and family and friends and then the word is spread. Hey, look, you may want to get on this. It's a 30 day window before it goes here to where these, this first, these, this first wave of people they're guaranteed because the boost gonna be 30% anyway. This is how they killing us. They coming in there and they buying it all up, come knowing on, that when on. they go to phase two or three, the shit gonna shoot up 20, 30, 40% anyway. Then what they do, they turn around and dump that to us phase four. And now we gotta wait for it to go up another 5%. So basically we be finding out when they done cashed out. They done so that's when we find out. If we yeah, hear something yeah. about it at all. <laughs> if we hear something about it at all because they're not sounding that trumpet in areas on mountains that we're on. I'm just in that circle. You know, I I'm, I got us, I got the Jewish people, I got the Russian people, I got the Asian people. I do business in a bunch of different circles. It's things I know about because I'm, I was over there that everybody else might not know because they didn't hear that alone. They didn't hear that trumpet. They don't know nothing about it. I just want to commend you. I I just want to say, like, I really commend you on on what you're doing because you're an arena that is endless. I mean, people need things for their babies all the time, and it's not just diapers. You can get into bottles. You can get into apparel. So what you're doing um, is is it's a lot bigger than I yeah. think we fully comprehend right now. Yes, yes. Um, and if you're looking for anybody to join your marketing team internationally, holla at your girl. Like marketing and PR is my specialty. I decided to come home with it because it wasn't really working out in America. Mm -hmm. um, but with technology, I can work from anywhere in the world. So, so you're where? I, you're, where, where, where about in Africa are you? I'm in Sierra Leone. Okay. So, well, it's probably about time for me and R&B take a trip anyway. So. R&B, make sure you got our information. We can make it a business trip. Hey, let me say this while you're while you on this. 